Once you've considered exactly who your audience is, you can begin to think about what your audience wants. Appealing to your audience is essential to delivering a successful pitch. Every pitch is different, but there are three universal ways to reach your audience. Aristotle figured this out a long time ago. If you've taken rhetoric, you've probably heard of logos, pathos, ethos, logic, emotion, and character. Understanding these three ideas and using them as the building blocks of your pitch will allow you to capture the hearts and minds of your audience. First, let's discuss logos, or logic. Appealing to logic usually comes naturally to students who study business and other quantitative fields. A logical pitch demonstrates credibility through evidence. The size of the market, statistical analysis of customer preferences, the features and functionality of the product or solution. Logos makes audiences think analytically. Does two plus two equal four? It is the backbone of a great pitch. But even though it's essential for initial buy-in, it's probably not enough to win a competition or motivate an investor to back you. What's more inspirational, a hard statistic or an expression of love? The truth is, it's best to appeal to both logic and emotion in a pitch. Pathos, or emotion, is Aristotle's second mode of persuasion. If done right, an appeal to emotion will elevate your pitch above the rest by providing meaning and context. We'll talk about stories in a separate video, but for now, suffice it to say, weaving an emotional storyline into your pitch will make it memorable. People don't remember numbers and facts. They remember anecdotes and details that convey passion. Most people stop after they consider logos and pathos. If you do that, you haven't taken the time to consider what your audience cares about most. Many people think of ethos as convincing the audience of the speaker's credibility. Of course you need to appear credible, However, that's not the most productive way to understand ethos. Appealing to ethos is all about understanding, understanding the character of your audience. You must consider the deeply held beliefs and motivations of the individuals in your audience. For example, if the key decision maker is a veteran, your pitch might focus on themes of patriotism, duty, and honor. If the decision makers are your peers, fellow University of Iowa students, you might consider themes of family, independence, and connectivity. Appealing to ethos is essential to the success of your ask. You need to figure out what motivates your audience before you can persuade people to take action. All three of Aristotle's modes of persuasion are necessary to reach your audience, but among them, ethos is the most important. Lastly, when you are considering how to appeal to your audience, remember, time is precious. Don't waste it. Even if your pitch is only a minute long, it'll still feel like a waste of time to your audience if, if every word is not carefully considered. You should not waste time searching for the correct file, organizing yourself as a team, or handling other logistics that could have been prepared for in advance. Practice your pitch, revise it, and then practice it again and again and again. Eliminate redundancies, hiccups, and delays. If you have access to the room where you'll be giving the final pitch, practice it there. 